thing for you to do Your hand is moving right now You are still showing up At the tomb of every Lazarus And your voice is calling me
during our sound check. I felt something supernatural in this room. There are some people in here, and you need a miracle in your life. You need a breakthrough in your life. Let's press into our worship today like we need something desperately from Jesus. Let's press into our praise today like we need something desperately from Jesus. Do I have anybody in this room when your back was against the wall and you didn't know how you was gonna make it and how you were gonna get out just in the nick of time? Jesus stepped right in just in the nick of time. If he's been an on-time God in your life, I need you to lift your hands and release your worship because he always makes a way. He's always made a way. Come on, somebody raise up your worship. I need you to open up your mouth and lift up your worship in this room. You made a way. When my back was against the wall And it looked as if it was over You, come on Man And we're standing here Only because you made a way I don't know how, but you did it Say that, y'all. Don't know how, but you did it. Anybody got a testimony? Don't know how. Don't know how, but you did it. Somebody ought to just think back and say, don't know how. Don't know how, but you did it. Raise it one more time. Said, I don't know how, but you did it. Don't know how, but you did it. You step right in just in the nick of time. Don't know how, but you did it. Don't know how, but you did it. Come on, raise it real loud. You got two more times. Perform miracles There is nothing hey! That's impossible And we're standing here Only because of you So you move now You move now You call the wall You call the wall With your power your power Perform miracles Perform miracles There is nothing There is nothing That's impossible Standing here, standing here, 
you said yes Come on, say When the doctor said no You said yes I should have been dead But you said not yet Say I should have been dead But you said not yet Cause you're a miracle worker Say you're a miracle worker You're a miracle worker Somebody raise it out Say you're a miracle worker You're a miracle worker just having my moment with the Lord and I was just singing this over and over playing the piano and God started to remind me of all of these moments in my life that he's made a way because sometimes it's really easy to forget when you're in the middle of something to remember all the times you were delivered and what was different about this is he started to tell me all these things you know when people have done wrong to you he's made a way when you've come up with this sickness he's given you healing but then he started to show me these moments where I put myself in situations. So in the fall of 2017, I was in kind of a rough relationship that I know the Lord didn't want me in. And I was just kind of like, you know, I kind of know best in this area, sometimes we think. And I remember I ended up getting engaged and I was laying in the floor of my closet crying. And I said, God, I know you told me not to be in this. And you have every right to not help me out of this situation because I went against what you said. But I know you're good and you're faithful and you're consistent and you're kind. And even though I put myself in harm's way, I know you'll make a way out of this. And I kid you not, and days later, I get a call from Pastor Tasha and she's like, hey, can I give Pastor John Gray your phone number? And I was like, sure, of course. And I ended up talking to Pastor John and he's like, I want you to move to Greenville. And I had no idea that that was gonna be the thing that got me out of that relationship. And what I wanted to remind you today, what I felt like the Lord put on my heart to say 
is there are people in this room who have stopped going to God about specific situations because you have put yourself in it financially, relationally, spiritually, and you're like, well, you told me not to do this and I did anyway, so honestly, it's not your responsibility, but can I remind you today that the God that we serve is faithful to get you out of anything, any mess that you have even put yourself in this morning. So when you feel like your back's against the wall and even you are the one that put yourself there, he is faithful to rescue you from it. Come on, can we go to God together? Let us not just listen to what I'm saying, but lift up your voice in your heavenly language. God, we repent for not going to you first. We love you. We love your consistency, your faithfulness, your kindness, your mercy. You're romancing us back into your heart even today. We thank you that you are working all things. We thank you that you are working every situation, every single thing going on in our lives. You are putting in this mosaic, this tapestry, this beautiful story of you and I and our love. Lord Jesus, we give you all the honor, the glory, and the praise and adoration. We lavish our love on you. Come on, let's just lift up a shout of praise today. Hallelujah. All glory and honor to your name. You are worthy. Amen. Amen. Come on, tap the person next to you and say, he's making a way. Even now, he's making a way. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now. T'was grace that taught my heart to fear And grace my fears relieved How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed My chains are gone I've been set free My God, my Savior Has ransomed me Amazing grace The Lord has promised good to me His word, my hope secures He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures, my chains are gone, I've been set free, my God, my Savior has ransomed me. Shall soon dissolve like snow The sun forbear to shine 
But God who called me here below will be forever mine. Will be Good night. 
Yes, the world will bow down and say you are God. Every man will bow down and say you are King. So let's start.
shout it one more time. And I need you to pull that thing from your belly because I declare as you begin to shout that God's about to blow your mind. He's about to do something bigger than you can think of, something greater than you can pray for, something bigger than you can imagine. I need you to throw your hands up and say, God, you can blow.
For you have fought for me Defeated death for me The weight of sin You carried it for me
God in this room, be God in this place today. And that'll be more than enough. Blow my mind. Blow my mind. You can do it. Blow my mind. Do the impossible. Anybody desire that today? Come on, tell them. Blow my mind. Oh God, you can blow. the ability God to blow my mind oh do the impossible do the impossible I have not seen ears have not heard What do you have in store? Come on, raise that with us. Eyes have not seen. Oh, ears have not Somebody throw both of those hands up and say, God, you can blow my mind. I need you to let your faith rise as you make that declaration. You can blow my mind. God, we're ready. God, we're ready today for you to blow my mind. Do the impossible. Because you can, God. Come on, from your heart. Say, blow my mind. We're in position now, God. And you can blow my mind. Oh, you exceeding abundantly above all I can ask or think today. Oh, you can do the impossible. Listen, I have good news today. I need you to know that God can do anything. Oh, hallelujah. Listen, God can do anything. I need you to find somebody. Just look them in the eye for me and tell them, say, God can do anything. I don't know what you're believing for today. Oh, 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 oh. but God can do anything. Come on, if you're watching online, I need you to just raise that with us. Every voice, say, I can do anything. He's able to do it. Oh, you're able. I can do anything. You're strong enough, God. You're big enough, God. I can do it. Is there anything too hard? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? I need somebody to let your faith rise in this moment and declare God can do anything. Can do you can do anything. exceeding abundantly above all you can ask or think. Can do He's able to do whatever you need him to do. Just declare that my God is able. He's strong enough. He's big enough.
believe that the miracle worker is in this room and somebody came in here today needing a miracle in your life well I got a testimony this morning about a year and a half ago I was ministering on the stage in Virginia and uh, I was at a school called Liberty University and the pastor came up to me and he said Pastor Tasha three of our students they went to the mountain to worship and on the way back down they got into a car accident and one of them she's paralyzed and she's not responding to the doctors and he said we're gonna pray together there were 10,000 students from 90 different nations and we all begin to lift up one God his name is Jesus and as we begin to declare that there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain they told me that the student they were airing that worship service in her bed in her hospital bedroom and as they begin to watch we started saying I hear the chains falling and the more we declared I hear the chains falling I hear the chains falling and they're breaking off of Ruthie's life now because God you are a healer her name was Ruthie the teacher came back to me he tapped me on the shoulder he said I have a text message I need to show you he said, as we begin to worship today, I got this text message from Ruthie's mom who said, as we begin to declare that the chains were breaking, she began to move her leg. So let me give you some clarity here. The doctors told her mother that the brain, her brain activity would never respond and would, would never recover the way that it had before. The doctors told her mother that it was a strong possibility that she would never walk again. But God can do anything. I'm talking to some people in this room. The enemy has tried to tell you that that situation is impossible for God and he can't touch that and so you put that thing on the back burner but I came to declare that God can do so two days ago I got a DM in my Instagram it said hi my name is Ruthie she said a year and a half ago a year and a half ago you came to Liberty University and I was a student who received a miracle and she said I just want to come to Greenville South Carolina to hug your neck because God used you to help save my life Ruthie can you come up here for a minute I declare that Ruthie is walking that Ruthie is talking that Ruthie has Because we serve a God who can do anything but fail. Somebody lift up your eyes. God can do anything. I need somebody to raise up a praise. Lift up your voice and declare it. God can do anything. It doesn't matter what it is. God can do anything. God can do anything. He's the God who heals. He's the God who heals. God can do anything. Now somebody lift up a worship in this room And we serve a God who does the impossible We bless your name Jesus You alone are worthy You alone are holy And we expect miracles We expect miracles We expect miracles God can do anything Last time somebody shouted God can do anything God can do anything you're sick in your body we have a living witness right here in front of us that God is a God who still heals and we call on Jehovah Rapha in this room if you needed an example he calls an example to walk right up in this door for you I declare that God is healing bodies that cancer has to shrink that diabetes has to go that migraine headaches have to go by the power that's in the name of Jesus we speak to liver disease and we command you to leave we speak to every tumor every 
resist in the name of Jesus and we command you to be healed. Somebody lift up a worship if you believe he's the God who does it. Hey, listen, God can do anything. God can do anything.
was just a child, I could feel my Savior leading. I was drawn to what I could not understand. But for the cause of Christ, I have spent my days believing that what he'd have me be is who I am. As I come to see the weaker side of me, I realize His grace is what I'll need. Sin demanded justice for my soul. this morning. Amen. It was my cross you bore so I could live in the freedom you died for. And now my life is yours. And I will sing of your goodness forevermore. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. name and now my shame is gone I stand amazed in your love goes on and on and I will see of your goodness forevermore your name Jesus you deserve the praise worthy is your name worthy is your name Jesus 
heavens as your glory fills this place you alone deserve our praise you're the name above all names be exalted now in the heavens as your glory fills this place you alone deserve our praise you're the name Oh! 
The room grew still as she made her way to Jesus. She stumbled through the tears that made her blind. She felt such pain. Some spoke in anger, heard folks whisper, there's no place here for her kind. Still on she came through the shame that flushed her face until at last she knelt before his feet. And though she spoke no words, Everything she said was heard As she poured her love for the master From her box of alabaster So I've come to pour My praise on him Like oil from Mary's alabaster box So don't be angry if I wash his feet with my tears And I dry them with my hair Cause you weren't there The night he found me You did not feel what I felt When he wrapped his loving arms around me And you don't know the cost out of this oil in my alabaster box no one knows what you've been through I can't forget the way life used to be cause I was a prisoner to the sin that had me bound and I spent my days I poured my life without measure into a little treasure box I thought I found Until the day when Jesus came to me and healed my soul with the wonder of His touch So now I'm giving back to Him all the praise He's worthy of I've been forgiven, and that's why I love him so much. So I've come to pour my praise on him like oil from Mary's alabaster box. So don't be angry if I wash his feet with my tears. With my air Cause you weren't there The night he found me You did not feel what I felt When he wrapped his loving arms around me And you don't know the cost Not of this for you of my praise you don't know the cost not of this oil in my alabaster Trust 
Lord, sing it, sing it. The Lord is our help. Oh, Jesus, lead us and show us the way to follow you. Come on and put those hands together and give a prayer. He's a good shepherd. He's a really good shepherd. Lord, we bless your name today and we thank you. I can never get away from Pastor Delina without singing this song. It was a song that I wrote, ooh, probably over, over 40 years ago, I guess. I was leaving out of a church service in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And we were in the church and it was just a wonderful time. And I was riding with the campus pastor at that time and his wife and I was sitting in the back seat and as we were going through the city, we passed a bar. And all of a sudden, a fight broke out and we kept riding. And one of the persons in the car remarks, oh, that's a shame. They in there fighting. They ought to be in church. And I thought that and I said, but who's going to tell them Jesus loves them? Who's going to tell them there's a better way? And who's going to warn them of the things coming on them so God can turn their nights today. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say, who's going to tell him that Jesus loves him? Who's going to tell him there's a better way? Who's going to warn them of the things coming on them so God can turn then I today somebody's got a warning somebody's gotta tell them would you help me say somebody somebody's got a warning oh yeah somebody gotta tell them somebody's gotta tell them so I wanna ask you Wherever you are, who's gonna tell? Who's gonna tell? Jesus. Jesus who's gonna tell? Who's gonna tell? There's a better way. Somebody's got a woman. Somebody's got a town. Say with me, somebody got a woman. Somebody's got a woman. Somebody got to tell them. Somebody's got a town. So I need some volunteers to raise your hand, raise your heart, and say, I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell them. There's a better way
of G. If you're glad about it, you 
ought to know that you're a winner. You ought to know that you're a survivor. We are here. And I thank you, Lord. Hey, 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 hey.
they weren't there for you. And you tried, God knows you tried with all your might.
another And I want you to work 